today I want to answer one of the most popular um, asked questions about these two Steyr rifles, the Hunting Fly Auto and the, uh, the Pro X, and that is what pellets do we use? Um, now I get asked this loads because people have tried different pellets in them, um, and obviously I've had these quite a long time now, I've had this an awful long time, I've shot a heck of a lot of ammo through it thousands and thousands of rounds and uh, likewise a couple of thousand rounds through this already um, <clears throat> so they asked what pellet to use now the hunting five is a slightly more awkward uh, rifle as indeed is the, uh, the Pro X because they shoot directly from the magazine uh, and there's no probe to load the pellet into the barrel into the breech uh, they do present, they are, do tend to be a little bit more pellet fussy than uh, the most rifles. So finding the right pellets did take quite a while. Now, like almost most modern air guns, because obviously back in the day, people would shoot any old rubbish. The first pellets they had in the gun shop, they'd just buy a tin, off they went, and shoot them quite happily, without realising what a catastrophic effect some really bad pellets can have on accuracy because um, some are terrible some can turn a really good shooting sweet shooting rifle like the the Steyr and this one into uh, shotgun effect at 30 yards unbelievably bad for some pellets on the market uh, the cheap ones and the crazy thing I don't understand is why anyone would even buy cheap pellets because for starters they're normally about seven or eight quid a tin but they're really expensive you know I've got uh, J JSP Exacts, Air Arms Diablo Fields, uh, Field Target Trophies by H&M, and these QIS pellets. And all of these are about 13 quid for a tin. So you're looking at about an extra fiver for 500 pellets in one seven seven. Why would you scrimp on a fiver to buy cheap rubbish that, that are so shocking? Anyway. So obviously the first thing I do when I get a new rifle is I run a selection of pellets through it and then pick the ones which are the best. And the old favourites, and these are the pellets that you tend to find, you get pretty good results um, shooting these in a wide array of rifles. In fact, almost every rifle I've ever shot with these pellets had good results. Not, not necessarily, they've not necessarily been the best, all of them, but they've given me good um, steady usable results so they're a good base to start off choosing a pellet and they are the exacts the air arms field which are made by the same people as the exacts and I understand it the same design really but possibly slightly they use different moulds and uh, they use these H&M um, trophies to be fair normally I don't use the trophies so much I use the barracudas um, for my PCP rifles as a, as a sort of baseline, but unfortunately um, I haven't got a tin. I've used them all. Mm. So, when I first got these, used those three types of pellet and some others as well, but primarily these three types, and I discovered that they both shot really well with the Barracudas, uh, both the match and when they were released, the, uh, the field target Barracudas. Um, and after extensive testing, I mean, I used all sorts of pellets eventually just to make sure. Um, I discovered that they shot really well at range with um, the Barracudas. Up close, you know, after 30 yards, any of these pellets give really good results that you wouldn't be upset about. And even at 40 yards, they give pretty good results. But at the further ranges, the Barracudas edged it through both these rifles. And then a friend of mine suggested that I try these QIS things, so I had a quick look, saw some of them on the uh, on the internet, and uh, people were liking them, and decided to go for it. So I bought some originally. I bought some of the QIS um, domed pellets, which if I remember right, were eight point five six grains. Um, so about the same weight as the uh, the fields, the exacts, and the trophies lighter than the, uh, the Barracudas and tried those and first results were really good 
I mean they were very very good um, for a lightweight pallet they were shooting out to 40 yards probably as well as the Barracudas which surprised me um, and because they were lighter they had a slight flatter trajectory so I decided to switch over to the dome so I was shooting those for a good while um, and then I heard about the streamlined heavies. Now these look more like the Barracudas in their actual um, shape and they're slightly heavier than the dome ones at all. They're about the same way, I think they're nine point, I don't know what they are, they're uh, 9.56 grains, which is about the same as the Barracuda field target. So, knowing that they had a preference originally for heavy pallets, I decided to try these, and these are blisteringly good with both these rifles. I've shot through, oh, I don't know, loads and loads of uh, tubs of this ammunition now with both these guns, um, and found no problems at all. These pallets are great. When you look at them, they look great. You know, you can tell. You get the pallet out of there's no help in the box. Just bear with me a minute. Postman. <coughs> yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's no moulding marks on them. Uh, I've yet to find one that's got any damage to the skirt. Um, all the tubs have opened, I've had no bits of swarf, no dust, anything. They're all brilliant. The only problem I found with the original ones is these plastic tubs. When you take the tape off, the lids fall off all the time, which is really annoying because you'll put, open it, take the tape off, put that tub in your pocket, almost instantly, boom, lid drops off, pocket full of pellets, which isn't ideal because you want to keep them dust free and lint free. Um, obviously, most of the time when hunting, you can them into some sort of carrier. Um, but if you're just generally pottering about, or even just moving the damn things and you pick them up and put them in your pocket, lid drops off, pocket full of pellets, awful. And also this plastic's quite fragile, and uh, quite a few I've managed to smash and break. Um, and again, not ideal. Um, it got to the point where I actually started getting, a, as soon as I got a fresh tin of these, a fresh tub of these, I'd decant them into a more tin. Now, obviously QIS were listening to people, and I've now come out with these. Um, it's the same pellet, exactly the same, no difference at all, still utterly perfect, same, everything about it, exactly the same pellets, only they have now put them in this rather swanky golden black tin. And that, I think, looks rather smart. And not only does it look really good, but it also, screw lid, best type of closure there is, easy, you know, these aren't going to fall open, the pellets aren't going to come out, they're not going to get damaged. The exacts come in these little push lids, and these are alright, but again, these lids on these can fall open. H&M's still come in a screw lid. So, to summarise, I'd say that uh, these are so good now, that if I was recommending anyone, or indeed myself, want to get a new rifle, to get any new rifle, uh, and I run through the test, these have joined the must test pellets. So now, I uh, always use, if I've got one 7 rifle, always run through some exacts, and on fields. Um, I know this is a trophy tin, but it's barracudas normally. And now, these because they're that good. Um, I've yet to find, I've tried these through my Master Pro and admittedly my uh, Master Pro is obviously a spring rifle, the Walter Master Pro. That isn't that keen on the heavy pellets because like all springs or most springs it tends to prefer a lighter pellet but it shoots the normal domed version of QIS pellets extraordinarily well. Um, so that's become the Walters preferred ammunition as well. Um, I, it used, it's, well, it still fairly likes the uh, RWS Superfields as well. 
um, between the super fields and the QIS stuff, possibly the QIS edges it at range. Um, it's a difficult one with the, with the, uh, the Walther because I'm not the world's greatest shot with a Springer. So at long range, I think more of the variation is possibly down to me rather than the actual pellet gun combination. They're both extremely good. Um, I took it hunting on a holiday with me and shot a load of rabbits with it using both the QIS and the Superfields. Um, and it shot both really well. Um, it's hard to discern a real difference. I think any difference between them is more down to me. So in short, if I get a new rifle now, this joins the immediate uh, test pile, if you like. Because they, they are that good. They're superb. The weight tolerance is almost non-existent. Um, and I've yet, like I said, I've yet to find um, a damaged pellet, which is astonishing really. You know, because I've shot literally thousands of them, haven't come across a single damaged pellet. Um, so, can't recommend them enough. And while I'm on it, I think it's only fair to mention, um, I wouldn't be able to get this done without interruptions if it kills me. Um, I think it's only fair to mention the shooting party. Now, the shooting party import QIS pellets. And it's nice to see companies like that, small companies, taking a bit of a chance. Because it is a chance for a company to import um, something into this country that no one's ever heard of. Because I've certainly never heard of, to give them their full name, Quang Yuan Sports Diablos or QIS and I apologise if anyone speaks Chinese or is listening in China to my atrocious um, pronunciation of your uh, name I am very sorry but you know for a company to import something that's not got any base at all and that no one's ever heard of into this country takes takes a bit of balls really um, and we're seeing that more and more now um, with smaller companies importing stuff that's got a bit of risk to it. I noticed in the uh, air gun, one of the air gun labs the other day, um, someone started importing Atanon um, air rifles, PCPs. Now these are a Russian, a Russian make, uh, Atanon, and they're very popular in the States. And I actually think that a Russian guy shooting an Atanon PCP um, took a couple of categories in the Extreme Bench Race competition this year with, a, with an Atomon rifle. Um, and I, like I say, this company, I can't remember really off the top of my head, but they've started importing those as well now. So it's nice to see that people are willing, still willing to take a bit of a chance on an unknown quantity, especially when it comes to these pellets, because I'm not being funny and I'm not being um, prejudiced in any way, possibly am. But Chinese products had a bit of a reputation uh, for being very good at copying stuff, but not necessarily for demonstrating uh, engineering um, excellence. Um, you know, I, I think it's probably due to eBay, where there's an awful lot of Chinese goods on there, some of which are um, quite shoddy, shall we say, um, and not particularly good quality. But the flip side to that is, um, it's sometimes easy to forget that uh, the Chinese also make iPhones because they're not made in the States, they're all made in China. Uh, most telescopic sites are made in China, even from the bigger brands, Hawk, um, a lot of Leopold stuff's made in China, Athlon, Falcon, this, the, the list just goes on and on. And on. Yeah, even Night Force have some of their uh, lenses made in China. Um, you know, it just goes on and on and on um, what the Chinese make these days. So I suppose really it was no surprise that eventually one of their companies would start making really top-notch, high-grade uh, air gun pellets. And uh, these are superb. They really are. And since they put them in the tip, the change from that 
you know, when these first come out, I've no complaints from shop lovely, lovely made, well made, beautiful, but the packaging was a bit pants. Now as we go on to this tin, these are great, really good. And to anyone that says that tins don't matter, I just want to show you something. Just better than me. Oh, before I do that though, there's something else I want to just wanted to say about the accuracy of these things. I just want to show you something. Yesterday, when I got home from work, I had a bit of a session on my uh, garden shooting and I actually shoot from one end of the lounge, through the lounge, through the dining room and out to the end of the yard. And it comes out to about 24 yards. And at that range, I shot that group. Now, that hole there, there's five shots through that. And if you look at that, to a pellet, Five shots. All through the same size hole as a pellet. Now that to me is quite impressive. And it's even more impressive when you think, when you actually receive a Steyr rifle, be it a hunting 5 or a Pro X, you get the uh, a little booklet with it that has a, uh, a demonstration group in it. And this was shot at uh, 25 metres, which is about, it's about 25 yards really. And there's the group there. Uh, sh uh, shot with Schultz Exacts, which uh, are the uh, JSB Exacts. 8.44 grain. So there you go. So that is an actual factory shot group with JSB exacts, as opposed to that group of five that were shot with a QIS pellets at about the same range by me. So groupings wise, you can see that even from the factory, and they probably shot that out of vice because they're trying to test the gun, not the actual shooter. Uh, admittedly, I shot this off a, off a rest. Um, but that's incredible. You know, you just you can't do better than that. You couldn't do better than that grouping. You just couldn't. I mean, all right, it's only 25, well, 24 yards. You know, it's very close, but even so, 24 yards, that's good. When you think that that's there, test group that came out with a rifle at 25 meters um, do love this tin it's really nice it's proper swanky and to those that were saying that uh, oh it's only a tin it doesn't matter let me show you something else that you might find interesting this is my uh webley pistol collection apart from my webley pistol collection and that tin there that you see there just a tin not far short of 30 quid. That cost me on eBay for a tin. So who knows? One day someone might be looking at that rather swanky tin and that'll be sat in a collection of uh, airgun pellet tins. Thoroughly recommend them. Well deserve their place in amongst what everyone regards, I think, as premium pellets, exacts, fields, and the H&M Barracudas and field target jobbies. The QIS fit nicely in amongst all of those. If, you're gonna, if you bought a new rifle recently, it's a 177, and you want to test it, these are well worth a try, seriously. And if you own a Steyr, I think that uh, after trying these two, shooting loads of different pellets, Certainly for these two guns, they uh, they shoot really, really well. They really do. They're very, very good. Um, 
so there you go so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you very much